Let me show you how to add cloud endpoints to an existing App Engine flexible environment application. First of all, let's try running the application locally. It is a simple echo server running Go, so we can run it with Go Run. Now we can verify that everything works correctly, sending a POST request with curl. To deploy the application, we first configure the project ID on gcloud, and then we run a deploy gcloud app deploy. The a deploy part is needed only for Go applications. After a short period of time, the application is deployed and we can test it again using curl. Great, let's add some cloud endpoints now. We will need an open API specification of our API. In our case, it's a very simple one. One single path that replies to post request with the same message it receives. We can now deploy that specification to cloud endpoints with this gcloud command. As a result, we will receive a cloud endpoints name and a configuration ID. We now add those two values to our app.yaml and redeploy the application. OpenAPI is an open standard, which means all the tools developed for OpenAPI are now available for you to use with cloud endpoints. For instance, if you get your specification and put it in editor.swagger.io, you can see the auto-generated documentation, which is incredibly useful for your developers. And also, you can even run the application directly here by saying, hello, running that request, and getting the response. Great, right? Now that we have deployed our application and the corresponding Open API specification, we get to enjoy monitoring and logging. We can fix some traffic and see how the graphics react to it, or go see how the logs appear in real time. Okay, one last thing. Let's secure our API so only calls with an API key will be authorized. We do not need to change our code, just to add a security definition on our Open API specification and redeploy. Let's test it with curl now. Without the API key, our request is rejected, but without the correct API key, everything works fine. So there you go. With a simple open API specification and cloud endpoints, we get monitoring, logging, and authentication, and the possibility of using all the tools that already exist for the open API ecosystem.